everyone welcome back to my channel today is saturday and i am headed to the farmer's market as you saw this morning i made myself a drink i am going to start to drink this probably twice a day for the next couple of weeks i've noticed my skin is really dry especially on my face even though i moisturize so i must be dehydrated i know i don't drink enough water um that is one thing that I'm very bad at. So I decided that I'm going to make my agua frescas every morning and every evening. Basically, it's just a cucumber, a pineapple, and lime juice, and a little bit of water all blended up together. Usually, you sift it through a um, like a strainer to take out the more solid like pieces, like the um, seeds from the cucumber, but I didn't, my mind's broken. So I need to go buy one today. Um, so mine was a little bit on the thicker side, more like a kind of a smoothie almost, which wasn't bad at all. Um, but usually it's more like a water consistency, more liquidy. Um, but it is good. It definitely hydrates you. Cucumber, pineapple, all of that is very hydrating. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing every morning for the next week or so, just to try to get my skin back. Um, it's just so dry, especially by the end of the evening, and moisturizer is, just doesn't seem to be cutting it. So um, I am on my way to pick up my daughter, and I would like to go find some pumpkins for my front porch today, hopefully, and we'll see what else we'll get into. So come follow me along on my day, and it is 8.30 a.m., and I'm going to go ahead and get my daughter right now. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember busy day. It seems like it is like eight o'clock at night, but it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I guess it's because we left really early this morning or I left early from my house to go get my daughter. And as you saw, we went to lunch. We went to Bath and Body Works. We went to TJ Maxx, obviously the farmer's market. I didn't get to go and look at pumpkins or anything. The farmer's market didn't have any big pumpkins or anything like that yet. So, um, I just didn't feel like going to go and look where I wanted to go look for pumpkins. But let me share with you what I got at the farmer's market. <clears throat> First thing I picked up were some leeks. These beautiful leeks. Picked up three of them. Um, I think I'm going to try my hand in making potato leek soup today. So I am going to in a little bit here... Um, Pinterest a recipe and see and I will share that with you. So I picked up these leeks. I also picked up a bunch of cilantro. It smells really good. And these shishito peppers. There's a ton of them here. Not a ton, but a lot. <clears throat> I was told I've never cooked with shishitos. I probably have eaten them. I just don't know. Um, I'm trying to get them all here so you can see how many I got um this many i'm going to try also to make a tomatillo salsa i picked up a bunch of tomatillos so i asked the girl at the stand if these were um spicy she says like one in ten are spicy so if i use all of this it shouldn't be too spicy i'm going to use those peppers these tomatillos they have their outer skin i think they're part of the tomato family i'm assuming and I worked with these last summer. They're sticky. 
I worked with these last summer and um, I think I made some kind of a salsa. I'm not in frame, I'm sorry. Some kind of salsa with it. So I'm gonna try to look up a recipe for that. That's why I got some peppers to go along with that. Boy, they're sticky. Um, and then I also picked up these ground cherries, like in the ground, ground cherries. Um, I had these last year too. I'm sure that they're clean, but let me rinse. They look like this. They come with an outer shell that you just peel off. It's really not even a shell. It's like a, I don't know, soft, an outer soft shell. Mmm. They don't taste like I remember. I remember them tasting sweeter. Maybe they're not fully ripened yet. Oh, that one was better. Uh-huh. They're good. I got these last year at the same farmer's market. So, that one's a little sour. Some of them are sour. But, they're good to snack on. So, that is what I picked up at the farmer's market. Next, <clears throat> I got a few things at TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna be hosting Thanksgiving at my home today or this year. So I just picked up some napkins. It says grateful, thankful, blessed on there with that little wreath. Same pattern for plates. I felt that these looked more Thanksgiving-ish than the one other ones that they had. They look more fall. And then, like I said this morning, I needed a new strainer, so I just picked one of these up. And then I picked up this top. It's like this burnt orange color, like a tunic top. I asked my daughter if it looked like I look like a pumpkin. Do I look like a pumpkin with it on? But I think it looks better than like a bright orange. So hopefully this will go nice for the fall. If it would um, cool down here in Western Pennsylvania. 91 degrees today, that is not fall weather. So I don't know what, hopefully next week we'll get cooler. So, um, the rest of the day, I am going to Pinterest some recipes for both the tomatillo salsa and the potato leek soup. I have potatoes in the fridge and I need to edit a video. So it's only three o'clock now. So I think I'm going to get started on that now. You should hurry to love. So I'm going to try my hand at this tomatillo salsa. Um, I have my tomatillos and my peppers washed. I'm going to just dry them. So from a couple of recipes, they say to roast the peppers and the tomatillos. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me clean out my oven. I'm going to set it to 400 and it said about six tomatillos for this one recipe the um the ingredients but some of these are small so i have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i'm going to probably make like a double batch and it says to use one jalapeno so i don't know what's one jalapeno Three peppers for one jalapeno because they're not supposed to be spicy so I'll do six peppers and 
I'm going to put some here. Let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my tomatillos and my shishitos on here. I am just going to drizzle with some olive oil. And then I set my oven for 400 degrees and I am gonna roast these until they get a little bit charred and blistered. And I am going to add one pepper to the tray to get roasted up. I'm just going to slice it in half and peel it and, okay, maybe quarter it because we're going to blend everything up anyway. tackling my bathroom. I'm getting it all clean and ready for the new week. This has to be my least favorite chore to do. Let me know down below in the comments what is the chore you put off doing around the house because you are just definitely not a fan. Just don't saw me drop and break my uh, toothbrush holder so I had this glass jar from Dollar Tree I think it's supposed to be like a candle holder so the bottom is thicker glass so it can be like you know maybe a little bit more adorable so I'm just gonna put that there for my toothbrush and toothpaste and it's glass so it'll match my little tray here where I have my makeup so fix that mess. Okay, so you can see it's the next day. I did not make that potato leek soup um, yesterday. I just wasn't having it. <laughs> so I did find a crock pot recipe for it. So basically, um, the leeks, I cut them already before I started filming, but they were like this. You save the tops for um, like vegetable broth. So what I'm going to do, I mean, they're very, very dirty. Leeks grow and they get very dirty between the leaves. So what I'm going to do is peel these apart, soak them in water. And the same thing goes for the bottoms. So you want to use the white and the light green part for the soup. So you're going to chop off the, the um, base of this leek and then you're going to slice it in half and then um, like half moons, slice them in half moons. You want to take off the outer layer, save these for the soup or for the um, vegetable broth. If you want to do that, all you have to do is freeze them. And then when you're ready to make vegetable broth, you can worry about that. But you're just going to, let me show you, bring you down. Slice off the bottoms, just like that place them in half lengthwise and yes I'm using a steak knife if you haven't known this is what I use for everything to cut my fruits and vegetables just easier for me 
I uh, don't need the comments <laughs> because it's just, I don't know. It just works for me. I know you're not supposed to. Um, and then you slice them into half moons, just like that. And again, the insides of these leeks will be dirty and gritty from sand and dirt. So after you cut these into half moons like this, you're going to place them in a bowl full of cold water so they can rinse off and they'll be ready to use. Okay, into the crock pot, I am going to be putting all of my potatoes. I just have these little yellow potatoes. I'm keeping the skins on. They don't bother me. It's all good. It's going to get blended up in the end anyway. And I have three cloves of garlic that I'm going to put in there and some celery. Then I have, let me pull this out some organic vegetable um, broth that I'm going to use. I am going to pour that in. Then I have all my seasoning, salt, pepper, thyme, and a couple of bay leaves. Throw that in. And now I am just going to drain my leeks and then I'm gonna throw them in here too. So I'm gonna set my crock pot on low to start. Give this another mix again. And place the lid on. And then at the very end, probably the last half hour or so, I'm going to add in a can of coconut milk. I have this light coconut milk, and I also have some coconut cream that I could end um, put in. But I'm going to blend this up first to see how thick the um, broth is before I decide if I want the cream or just the coconut milk to make it a little bit creamy. So we'll see that at the very end. But I'm just going to let this go until everything is soft and the potatoes are tender and I can blend everything up. It's only 1030 in the morning right now, so I can let it go on low all day and it'll be perfect. All right, so my potatoes seem done. So I'm just gonna take my immersion blender and I am going to blend up everything in here. And then I am going to add my, either my coconut cream or my milk and let it go for about another half hour. Okay, so I just tasted this. It definitely did, needed, definitely needed more salt and pepper. So I added one more teaspoon of each salt and pepper. And now I'm gonna add the light coconut milk into this. And this is a lot of soup. I don't think my um, daughter will enjoy this kind of soup. Just, I just know her. Um, so I probably am going to freeze about half of this, which will freeze nicely in the freezer for two to three months. So now I'm gonna taste this again. Good. I'm going to put another half a teaspoon of salt and another quarter teaspoon of pepper and let this go and simmer for about a half hour and then it should be done. Thank you everyone for joining me today and following me on my weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.